Attention to the front! Hey everybody, so we made this app that we call obviously Random Ranking. So uh, this is the uh, thing that's asked in our last time. And so the whole idea behind Random Ranking uh, was... Go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So the whole idea was to create a place where you just express themselves, uh, and uh, by voting popular topics, and the only idea was to make a world better place. No, just kidding. Uh, we wanted to rank people from the class, uh, so we made an app uh, of rankings. And so this is the app we can show you right now. I'm gonna send it to you. Oh shit. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> so we didn't have time to add up everyone, so you can add up yourself. And then you can basically upvote or downvote people. And so you can even be able, and then you have to refresh it because we're using basically we're using HTML. So it's not a live it's not React. And then you can see who's the coolest person in the class. And who's the lamest person in the class? Okay. And please feel free to troll. This is going to be for that anonymously and easily to do those types of things. Um, and if you don't, if you want to have fun with it, you can. Uh, but it is going to be more functional than that. It's like you can go ahead and add topics such as anything else. You can add categories, topics, things that are going to work for you. And it will also help you figure out what's actually popularized it and what is actually the most trending thing going on in society ranked by everyday people, not robots or any yeah. type of things that are, you know. So the way it works, you can add a ranking here and uh, whenever you add a ranking you have to create a subject like, I don't know, pizza always. And then you have to add a, uh, you have to add a link for the specific image and then show the topic, then you submit it, and then it creates a new ranking. Uh, cool stuff with it is that, let's say, whenever you want to add a new ranking, and like, I don't know, but it's, and you don't know which URL you want to use, then you can type whatever. And so we used regular expressions, to discover if the link is it's actually copy pasting the function, and uh, to discover if the link to see if the link is HTTP or not, and then if not, then just upload a, another image. Uh, Question: Is that from like image search or something? Sorry? You're getting the images from from Google? What you? I'm just hey, I'm just replacing another another link. Cool. Um, yeah, we're using uh, just URLs for uh, all the image submissions. We want, we were battling between having um, user submit images and then storing the database, but right now we're just storing the uh, the URLs, and it's it didn't give us too much trouble explaining them. So so you got the <coughs> the avatars for like all of us. You got those from Slack. Like right click inspect LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn. I, just, I okay, pasted cool. all the images from LinkedIn. So. Yep. <laughs> That's <what I'm> all. <laughs> Please feel free to add yourself. Uh, you can't, that's uh, a yeah, most of you guys, but <laughs> yeah, we don't have. And so we wanted to also, uh, I mean, uh, this is left the, the possibility <laughs> to actually connect, and we didn't have time to do this using a uh, connection. So as you can vote only once, basically, because here you can upvote yourself many times, and I mean, you can be first if you want to be if you vote yourself. Um, so yeah, something uh, we want to do uh, just as connection, basically. <laughs> Another thing we were battling with was right now. <laughs> you find the um, API and you're just like sending it. It doesn't show uh, the content automatically. Um, so you, but if you refresh it, um, it works fine. And we weren't sure if we wanted to do it that way or have it show dynamically. But that might mess up when you're trying to insert uh, new items. So. Yeah. 
Uh, also, we have a little uh, display bug that we couldn't figure out when you add a new, uh, a new item. It kind of displays everything, but if you refresh it or if you go back in, out and then back in, it everything works. We're using all the other technology. Basically, just random HTML. So if we wanted to use something like React or Angular that would be more uh, like live and that would display things like things directly. Let's say if you add, if you upload someone, then it's going to, not going to display directly. You have to refresh it. It's it's still an older technology. We just want to say I hope you have fun with this app. This app is meant to be fun. It's meant to be you know to express yourself. That's why it's here for. And also for you know. Uh, serious things, like very serious things, like, oh, you're going to get some wine, and this is the number one ranked wine, and that's going to be about it. Chris is just drinking himself. Sorry, guys. Do you have any questions? Do you guys not envision any issues at all with, like, this idea, or? Um, so he's, he's... Is, is authentication uh, on the roadmap? For sure. Um, for sure. We're thinking of doing it uh, uh, for users, but we also want to do it kind of anonymously. So it might just be like, log in, so you have a uh, and that's it. Yeah. Do you think you would like part of part of like you know tracking users? Do you think you'd sort of try to find like the negative Nancys who are like downvoting everything and maybe kick them off your app? Ban, yeah, just ban anyone that's like too many uh, yeah. minus points in a row. Ban. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think that you're going to have a limited amount of points where people can only vote once, or is that not? Like people can only vote once? Like yeah, that was the point. That, that's the goal. It's one of the goals. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe once a day. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like face mash, right? Except it could be about anything. It's it's not yeah. We're going just for like women. a Reddit type of feel, but without all the text and the boring stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I do get Reddit, yeah. None of the conference. Right. Can you guys refresh that one more time? Just want uh, to see what Chris yeah. is up to. Yeah, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> hey, Chris. Dude. I knew awesome. it, man. <laughs> I knew it. It's not, it's not me. Chris is a prodigious <laughs> clicker. All right, wait. Uh, what, was, uh, what was the biggest challenge you guys think you faced and overcame? Um, probably for me, uh, working with the databases, um, we were battling between having um, just one table or multiple tables, and we did a couple tables and they worked fine. So, yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Um, having something working, like we actually like managed to make this work like two minutes before the presentation, <laughs> like literally, um, like I deployed it real fast. But like I don't know, like actually, what was hard was. For, for for me was the pull request. Which basically those buttons, try to upload and download, and making the relationship oh, yeah. between like the JavaScript in the front end and like the, the routes with the IFT items. That was pretty hard actually to understand how we could make this work. Uh, but we made it. Yeah. So it's cool. So you you're talking about how you have some you know multiple tables uh, in, in the database. What are how are those tables related? Like what kind of relationships did you define between them? So the relationships that we were going to define with those ones are going to be the, well, it's going to be many, many. Just for the reason that um, one user could have many relations within those. So uh, maybe I'm not clarifying that very well. My thoughts aren't very processing the way they should be. But I want to say, okay. yeah, there you go. Um, basically, right now, we have uh, a table for topics and a table for items. Okay. And uh, we wanted to do it that way in case we wanted to rank uh, the topics by themselves, or <laughs> maybe clear out a topic, or just to, uh, for shorting purposes. Yeah. And so are the items, like, do the items belong to a topic? They do. Okay, so yeah. they can't Well, they're just... associated. Okay, but yeah, so it's like, they will only ever be inside of one topic. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have Chris taking over, you know, wine and cheese, as well as Berkeley Cody, Cody Bootcamp students? Uh, not as of right now. But okay. we, um, uh, one of the reasons we're within multiple tables is so that we have maybe Chris take over you know, the overall rankings of all the tables. Yeah. yeah like Which I think that's going to happen. Like Chris versus wine or versus something else. Exactly. This might be a good match right now. Uh, okay. Rock on. Uh, what kind of testing do you guys do? Um, the testing still needs a lot of testing. 
but <laughs> I want that on a shirt. The testing needs testing. Uh, but we want to use uh, Nightmare. Uh, yep. nightmare. And also, um, we had some uh, HTTP uh, errors, so I found uh, Chai uh, HTTP. So okay. we tested with that to make sure that whenever people are submitting stuff, it's not a 401 error. Okay. Oh, God. Cool. Any issues getting this thing deployed? Um, a few. But um, the, my main concern was um, having uh, the images displayed because they're just URLs, but actually it worked fine. Yeah. Is that why you're not serving over HTTPS? Right. Because it was like a, like a mixed content? Yeah. 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 You can also just do... <coughs> and slash that protocol and it'll automatically serve it for whatever it is. Um, um, we weren't sure with the, when you were submitting, it was like when you were submitting images just from Google, uh, we weren't yeah. sure if those were going to display or not, so that's what we did. Yeah, see. yeah, it's <laughs> tricky, it's funny. Uh, cool, does anybody else have any other questions? Is your next app going to be like a, a support line? I don't like do all it. The, yeah. All the heartbroken people from this yes. app. I mean, so far I just see a really stoked Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? Well deserved. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Scroll up, please. Uh, okay, any other questions? Just don't let it go naked.